hopefully things will get moving here soon, right? Well, we think this may be it. Why did I go bye-bye? Yeah, do you know where we're going bye-bye? We're just gonna go check on baby. And hear baby's heartbeat. What noise does baby heartbeat make? <laughs> Where's baby brother? You see baby brother in mommy's tummy? You're gonna go to Mimi's? Yeah, is baby brother gonna come out soon? Hopefully soon. Mommy wanted to make sure to video you because this could be, maybe, the last time you'll be the only child. We're not sure. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. My kiss it. Okay, I'll kiss it. Okay. So it is the 10th, so just two days before my due date. I'm definitely much more pregnant than I thought I was going to be. <laughs> so we are actually getting ready to go to our baby and co appointment. But thankfully, last night, starting at about 3 a.m., I started getting um, kind of regular contractions. Unfortunately, they didn't stay the time, same time frequency, like, so some were eight minutes apart, some were 24 minutes apart, but they were pretty much from 3 a.m. until now. So thankfully the contractions have stayed, um, which is good and bad all, all rolled into one <laughs> because you know that labor's coming and it's painful. They're still coming now, so we figured we'll still go to our baby and co-appointment. We'll make sure baby boy is doing good. He's nice and cozy and warm in here. So here's baby boy here. So yes, I'm currently reclined in our car. Josh is running into Burger 21 now, and he is getting us some food. There it is. We finished at our Baby & Co appointment and everything went good. Contractions I think have picked up. I'm actually due to have another one like any second and it's not coming, so I'm like, no, stay close together. <laughs> I'm ready to have this baby. I can tell his head is like really low, so I'm really hoping that in the next 24 hours we'll see him. That would be, honestly, that would be ideal. So hopefully, hopefully things will get moving here soon. All right, well, we think this may be it. My contractions have finally gotten to the point of being about four minutes apart. Um, the past like three have been four minutes apart and they were six and then that was from eight just less than two hours ago so at first I was thinking we had a lot more time and now I'm starting to think we should probably head up there of course it's almost six now um, which is still rush hour but I think this is officially it so we'll be able to show Cade this later <laughs> okay go have baby Here at Baby Co, and because it's time for Cade to come and make his arrival, Gabrielle is already in the tub. I am. She has clothes on, it's okay. I got a bathing suit. <laughs> this is our birthing suite. The tub is a big deal for Gabriella. We'll get to spend some time with Cade relaxing over here once he's born. And we've got music playing in the background and essential oils diffusing. We've got lots of fun stuff. So it's, it's gonna be time soon. We love you, little boy. Can't wait to meet you.
how we did it in mm. 29 cups. Oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. Oh, nine yeah. So much faster, right? Hi, buddy. We've been waiting for you. Oh, oh, oh it's so sweet. Oh, honey. I'm so <laughs> glad you're here. We're done. He's here. It's 9.35. We got here at 7. She's amazing. She's incredible. We are done. Took her all of 17 minutes to push this guy out. And he's a beautiful little boy. So good. We had an incredible team here at Baby & Co. We did. They just told Gabriella that she had one of the most controlled births so they've ever seen. And no tearing. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Like, that makes me so happy. I can't believe I didn't have a single tear. Especially with it being so fast. It was just, it was good. Pushing was a lot harder than with James, but... It, which is odd, because James was two hours of pushing, but because it was so fast, it was so fast. Here's our kind of room aftermath. <laughs> so overall, I think labor went well. Went well. It was hard. It was long. It wasn't that bad? Yeah. Easy. Oh yeah. Easy. Oh yeah. So easy. So easy. Um, well, I feel really good though. Really, really good though. This is probably like I did not expect to feel this good going so close to 40 weeks. So, did you share Jane's measurements and weight yet on camera? Or you just, I guess you videoed it. Oh my gosh, I'm already getting their names mixed up. Cade, did you get, did you share Cade's measurements? Okay, he said Cade Stafford Leftwich, he is. Um, seven pounds, five ounces, 21 and three quarters inches. What did I say? No, she said 20. She didn't? 20 oh, 20 and three quarters. 20 and three quarters. That's what it was, just under 21. 20 and three quarters. Gabriella farted in the tub. Oh my gosh, I did once. Twice. Okay, once. It was like a hot tub. Yeah, it was the gross. Oh. Oh my gosh, you're funny. The tub is the best thing ever for laboring natural. Really is, and having a good husband. A husband who's willing to rub your back. <laughs> so I'd said I hope we would have a baby before midnight, and we did, 9.03 p.m. That is when he was born. So 1.10.19 at 9.03 p.m. So he's doing well, he's sleeping, he's already latching and nursing, and. If I'm holding him, all he wants to do is nurse, which is literally how my firstborn was. He's, I think, got about a 13 inch circumference chest. I didn't catch what his head was. It's round. Yeah, check out this kid's head. Look at that perfectly round head. Perfectly round head. 
it's because I pushed for, well, I heard 15, 16, and 17. So somewhere between 15 and 17 minutes I pushed. So there's literally no cone on that head. <laughs> but the midwives were amazing and she was able to do perineum support for the majority of my pushing. And so thankfully, um, no tearing for me. So zero tearing whatsoever. So I am thrilled. And that's one of the reasons why I think I feel so good is when you have no tearing and no stitches, <laughs> things just feel a whole lot better. Stomach feels like jello, but other than that, we feel good. We're just tired. Oh, it's exactly midnight now, hun. You came before midnight and now going into the next day. We'll see when we get to go home. They said, what, 1.15-ish? May have to do a couple more little tests on him because they weren't quite where they were wanting. Just as precautionary, but they're not too, not too worried about. We'll do whatever's needed to make sure he's A little after one and they're about ready to send us home so that we can rest in our own house. Just one of the benefits of being a baby and co. Gabriella's amazing. She's already up walking around. We are officially on our way home. We've got them all bundled up because it's literally like the coldest evening it's been for this month for us. <laughs> it's like 28 degrees. How are you feeling, hun? Chugging Great. that coffee. <laughs> it is. I don't know if anyone Happy can Friday. See. It is 2 a.m. So we are tired. 30 degrees outside. And it is less than 30 degrees. And I'm back here with a little boy making sure he's good. I feel like the scariest drive is going home. After you birth the baby and strapping them into this super tight car seat with their brand new little lungs. And you're just so paranoid. But he's doing good. Oh, I know, buddy. Shouldn't take too, too long. Love you. Love you, Cade. You did so good. So nice being able to actually go home to our own house and not have to stay the night. So I think we're all looking forward to just going home and sleeping. <laughs> Let's hope that we get a good, decent night rest. And yeah, and that we get a good morning start tomorrow and then James gets to meet him. I'm so excited for James to get to see him. I think he'll be excited. Hey Charlotte, you want to meet your little brother? Your second little brother? Can you sit? I'm excited to see you too. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> His poor little skin. That says 226. All set up in here for baby. Got clean sheets for mama. Got all the essentials ready to go.